Well, Kevin, I'm really glad you brought up clothes because our next presenter, she has Project All of Me where she's going to do some pretty incredible things with clothing. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big sneak welcome to Ching Lu with All of Me. Hello. Kevin. How are you? <laughs> okay, and hello, uh, Bria. Hey. And hello, everyone. So today I actually have a special task because my friend Jing Yuan in the Lightroom team just got her first Max release this year and she's now officially on the contributor list. That's a big deal. So I want to, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Actually, I want to celebrate this by making a surprise flyer for her, but I have a small problem. So this is the only picture I have, and I cannot ask for another one because I don't want to ruin the surprise here. What I really need here is actually a picture with more background. So I guess I need to uncrop this. Yes, I said uncrop. Well, <laughs> cropping is easy, but uncropping? How do we find the extra image content that does not exist? There's no way to do that. Or is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe AI can help. So Project All of Me is an AI-aided smart portrait photo editor. So for uncropping, let's look at here. So you see that gray area around all the um, sides? That's the mask that instructs all of me where new image content is needed. And to uncrop, all of me will first predict the reasonable layout for those regions. And it will generate this uncropped image just following the layout. Wow. Wow. So now everything you see here around this new picture is AI generated and it looks great. So, um, you know, now that I'm looking at this picture, I don't like the back here. Maybe I can use Photoshop to remove it, probably by using the content aware fill. But since we are in a smart editor, I wonder if we can make this even easier. So let me just try click on the back and all of me will first fill the gap in the layout map. Then it will just complete the image. So you see, I just have the bag removed with a single click here. Yeah, next, um, maybe let's try change the look of Jun's dress. So the advantage of using a layout map here is that we can directly change the shape of things. For example, I wonder um, how a longer dress may look on Jingyuan. So maybe let me just try and mask her dress a bit longer, uh, just like this. And yes, shaky hand. <laughs> OK, let me see. Yeah, I think this looks good enough. I will let all of me do the rest. So yes, it got the right layout for a longer dress. And the image also looks nice. That's insane. Made her dress longer. It's insane. She made her okay. dress longer. How about actually we give the dress a different color? Uh, yes. I can do that by simply putting a small patch on the top. And yes, this wow. yellow dress is really adorable. Yeah, let me try a different patch. This time, probably something dark pink. And yes, here it is. Wow. <laughs> okay, impressive, yes. <laughs> I'm just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe, um, how about we actually let uh, all of me make recommendations this time? So, yes. You saw, all of me just got me this lookbook for all the apparel, including the shirt and the shoes. And if I want more, I can just call it to run again. And each time, all of me will find these new great looks and they are all incredible. So I think I have, maybe I have time for one more trick here. And this one, this one is even more exciting. So you see the mask now? I hide it almost everything, foreground and background. 
Actually, all I have kept are those small face and skin regions, and everything else, yes, everything else are newly wow. generated by wow. all of me. <laughs> Okay, now this time, I bet Jihan will be really surprised. So now, uh, all I need to do here is just ask all of me to make a high-resolution version for this newly generated image. And yes, here it is. So I can use this one in my flyer now. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Maybe let's look at where we started and where we ended up with, I would say, mission completed, thanks to all of me. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> Give nice. it up for all of me. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Kevin, how many picture names could have been saved with all of me? I mean. I mean, no, honestly, several. But it's going to have a lot of people uh, that are getting pictures corrected uh, that ultimately go back and go, I never wore that shit. That was not me. <laughs> I don't own that pair of pants. I don't have a color. No, that's pretty dope. I, I honestly love the world of change within background, um, just enhancing uh, what's already there, but things that you're like, God, I love this picture so much, but I wish that this piece was here, or wish this was available, or this wasn't there. The way that she changed all that was pretty dope. I mean, this, the whole thing has been mind blown. The whole experience in general. Honestly, I'm just glad, once again, that I'm a partner and I have access <laughs> to this world now, right? That's the most valuable thing for me. Listen, I know I won't forget it. No, you can't. <laughs> I can't. Everybody knows it. Everybody, right, we're partners. Everybody's gonna leave here like, wow, what a partner Kevin is. Uh, he speaks so positively on our behalf. He really engages and believes in not just us, but our business. Um, you know, I'm a voice of change. And uh, if you don't make me a partner, I blame it on racism. Something, I'll, <laughs> I'll do something. Uh, you know, we're in a good time. We're in a good time. Buddy. Listen, we'll get you a badge and everything. Yeah. Listen, we I'm got here. you. A I'm brand ambassador. <laughs> a partner. A partner. A partner. Yes.